Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is part two of my first build remodel. If you remember that this was my first build house and in the last part we toured it and then I started to remodel it and now it looks like this. So in the last part I did most of the living room, kitchen dining room, and the laundry room. I think the other only other things I go back to do is um, paint the walls in the living room and do some decorating, some extra decorating in them. Otherwise, the rest of this video will be doing the three bedrooms, two bathrooms, and the landscaping and the structure that I build out back. And this house will be complete and it will look a hundred times better maybe not perfect I'm not a very good builder yet but this house the way it came out from how it started it looks a hundred times better so in another year I could probably redo this house again and it would look even better so let's get into the rest of this remodel and improve the house that I called quote unquote my fave which will of course be getting a new name at the end of this video okay so here I'm um, just putting the doors in um changing the wall or adding the wallpaper to the living room if you notice I still have the half bath over here at this point I have not gotten rid of it yet and it was a struggle for me to decide to do that because it messed up the front of the house the way it was like the windows were spaced and stuff but um, I eventually got rid of it because it was a really stupid layout. I don't know why it did it that way. And um, this is going to be the bathroom of the master bedroom. And this is the master bedroom. And I just pulled everything out of the inventory to see what I had to use. And I used one bedroom as like a guest bedroom not really like a concept of a kid or anything like that just like if you had a guest stay over in the third bedroom I used it as like an office type area not really an office but like I went with the idea that the person who lived in this house was a like youtuber and photographer and I did the space that way and I decided not to use the half bath because I already had a hallway bathroom that would have been easier to go to than that half bath that I had made so I ended up eliminating that half bath so I did try to use everything that was already in the original house and I did change up some things I made this into like a little bookcase reading nook area I put like these two bookcases and then like two of the small little um little um, I don't even know what they're called, little cube looking benches. I put those there and this was like a little reading area. So then um, I really am, I really don't like how much artwork and wall decorations that we really have. It's like I use the same artwork over and over and over again because they're the ones that I like. and. The ones that normally go with the themes that I'm going with. It took me forever to find a picture to go here and I will eventually change it again. But um, I kept this room really, really simple like. And I eventually added dog bed because I realized that I never really make houses that include pets. So I decided to make this one into a dog owner. And so I'll eventually start adding in some pet accessories. And um, here I'm really stumped because the 1800 simoleon toilet that I've always used, it's the Sweet Country Escapes, was like unbreakable, but now it's considered uncomfortable. And for 1800 simoleons, my toilet should not be uncomfortable at all. So I was like really confused and really sad because that is like the favorite toilet I always like to use, but I guess it is what it is. Um, of course my favorite mirror from spa day I use it in almost every bathroom I make and then I just started adding stuff around um, added the uh, clothes hampers since 
I do have laundry in this one now and so I just kind of went with a kind of carried the black and white grayish type theme from the bedroom into the bathroom but anyway eventually you'll see me start adding in what's called no CC art um, some people don't like to use it and some people have no problem with it um, I've tested it several times and even when I saved this house on the gallery it, I mean not on the gallery but in my library it wasn't flagged as no CC and I did a practice upload of it to the gallery and it was not flagged there either so I guess it will be okay um, I added in some of the little nifty knitting stuff over here well I guess the person can just sit in their bedroom and relax and knit um, I know you have to have that in your inventory to knit but um, whatever I mean they could put it in take it back out I prefer to take it back out so they don't just autonomously start knitting for the fun of it all right so here I am um, that is some of the no CC art that I used um, that is my favorite no CC art creator fruit loops 40 on the gallery and a lot of the stuff that I used in here did come from her and um, there's a few pieces that did not and some of them I did not manage to remember who I got it from and since I didn't have it saved in my favorites or anything I can't go back and look so here I just added the ottoman at the end of the bed and I added this in above the desk instead of using that picture from Seasons I believe and um, yeah I just went around looking at no CCR adding stuff in to make make it look a little bit nicer this is supposed to be where the footage from my fourth recording session was supposed to go in and that was the session where I did the other two bedrooms and the other bathroom however that footage got corrupted and even though I tried everything I could to save it and thought I had it kept crashing for more every time I would try to edit it so I had to take that entire clip out so at the end I'm gonna do a tour so that you can actually see how those rooms turned out otherwise this is where my fifth recording session started okay so now here I am starting with the uh, landscaping and I put out several different types of plants and things to figure out what I wanted to do with it and I ended up just going into the debug menu I hung these hanging plants from the debug menu onto the front porch to give it more of that country vibe feeling and um, I think it turned out to be really cute I just hung them all around of course in real life I would never be able to do that because I would probably kill them in a day I am not a person with a green thumb so then I just stuck these little purple debug plants in there and I think I ended up sticking some rocks around it maybe um, so, nope, I took the purple things out and just added these pink flowers, which were a lot more, went more with the aesthetic of the house than the other things did. I used rocks, um, I made them bigger, and over here, since I just have room for two, since I had to cut off the other part of the house, I just added a little different type of landscaping. And then I used this little small um, fence, I think it comes with Strangerville and um, outline the drop the pathway this is the structure I built out back um, it I turned it into the greenhouse instead of her having the little planters outside and I really love this door from nifty knitting I like the little flowers on the front so yeah I just turned this into like a greenhouse type building and I put the vertical planters in it so she could have a lot more plants than before and I had it match the house of course and over here is where I put the flower arranging table that was in the original house in and um, then I just added a bunch of the other stuff that was in that little weird gardening hallway I had going on in the original house and added a little table with some gardening debug items um, they think I went in and added some like bird seed boxes from deep bucks I add bird feeders outside and stuff like that so it's like her little gardening slash um, 
bird feed storage, I guess. Um, I made it look really cute out there. I don't know why I went ahead and put those out there. I put some wind chimes that I've never, I've never used the wind chimes in any of my builds before. So she's got tons of rooms to grow plants now. Um, I threw some seed packets on the table. So if you download the house, they should be in there with it. It's like the vertical plant seeds. So you can open those up and have some seeds already. Then like I said, I added some like bird feeders outside, put some plants around, just made it look really cute and cozy. So when you're looking off the back porch of the master bedroom, this is what you see. And of course I made the um, greenhouse roof and on the section with the actual planters, the other section still has a little roof and stuff like that. And then I also went in and added some no CC art pictures. Um, like I said, some people have no problem with the no CC art. Um, I never did when I was like, when I download houses with it. The only thing is, is that it, it kind of makes your house worth more when you have it. Um, I realized that back in my early days of playing on the PC. Um, I was playing a legacy and I found a house on the gallery that was really cute within their price range. I put it down and then I decided that it wasn't going to work with the family that I had. So I deleted it and I got like a hundred thousand more simoleons when I deleted it than I paid for it because of the no CC art that was in it. And I'm placing some more CC, no CC art down in the hallways. Um, I just I got sick of the same old pictures and I wanted something different and so I added the no CC art if it gives you a problem let me know if you've ever had a problem with it let me know so I'm just gonna finish up with this decorating and then I will meet you back here for a tour of the finished house and then lead you into some screenshots and that will be the end of this video